What's up, JD fam? Okay, honestly, sitting down with this setup right here is giving me flashbacks, and I was just gonna say it, but I was waiting till we were recording, of when I found out I was pregnant. Remember when I took the second pregnancy yeah, test, and the Christmas right tree there. was like in the background? I can't believe it's like almost been an entire year since I found out, and now we have like a full child, and now we're doing this video. That is crazy, and, like, yeah. Which we are gonna be answering your guys' childbirth questions. Which I feel like there is a lot that we haven't talked about too. So like, well, it's not that like we were trying to like avoid it, I just feel like there's things I that... feel like I really like doing these videos, not only because like I like to reflect on it, but also I know when Katie B was pregnant and we knew we were about to go through this experience, like we were able to watch TikToks and these yeah. YouTube videos to like give us peace of mind and kind of like, like, know, know what to expect a little bit. Obviously everybody's situation is going to be different. Yeah. But it 100%. definitely, yeah, it definitely helped. And All right, like, just get into the questions. It's <laughs> <laughs> all maybe we are. Yeah, there's a bunch of questions. I, I feel like a lot of these are for you, but we will see. So we're just going to get right into it. All right, let's do it. How long did you wait to look down there after birth? Me? Yeah. Oh, I look, uh, I think a couple, like two days, like, or like, I think like right away, but like with like a full mirror and like being able to, once I was home, like out of the hospital, I think I looked. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I think like, like three days after, cause we, oh, we were in the hospital for like two days and then like I showered and after I showered, I'm pretty sure I like went with like a mirror and like looked. Cause like I wanted to see like, I don't know, like all the stitches. I was gonna say even sooner than that, like literally post birth. Yeah. She's like, do you want me to show you with the mirror? And Kim's Well, you like, saw. Yeah, and then I, I, I saw it right away. I was in there. I, I got a little, almost too close at one point to where a little <laughs> stitching like blood T square almost That's hit me. like TMI, but yes, Josh was like definitely very close because I feel like so many guys are always like, oh, did you look, did you look? I'm like, he was looking a little too close and like the whole time they're like stitching me up and he's like, this is so fascinating. And I'm like, this is not cool. I'm, I'm like, this is not cool. I was like, I'm never gonna be able to walk again. <laughs> I was also riding like the biggest high of my life because like that was the coolest experience of my life. I honestly and got it. So like everything was so interesting and I was like, oh my, like you're like, to me, like, you know, she just gave birth. I'm like, this was the biggest like, blessing and it was like so amazing so like i'm in there I'm like wow like they're stitching you back up like like this is to see you just push a baby out of there like this is the coolest thing ever i like, will say I, like i was just high on life at the moment having a good partner too because the whole time it's like he's not like ew this is gross he's like what this is like the coolest thing in the world and that's how i felt too like no part of me felt like anything with childbirth is gross i think no. it's like the most beautiful like coolest thing ever the fact that like our bodies can do that and so like it was just cool especially have like a hype Man. And actually, someone like roasted you, like someone basically roasted Josh for being like a hype man. But I'm like, that's exactly what I wanted was my hype man, like you know. Yeah, and I honestly think watching like all right, because obviously we filmed the birth, you guys have seen it. I think watching that back, I'm like, I was kind of like, I don't know what the right word is, like shell shocked. Like I was just standing there, I was like, look, trying to like take it all in. Like I feel like it wasn't even like a great hype man. Like I feel like no. it could have been better, but I know going into it, you're like. Please don't like be super like. Don't be like obnoxious. Don't be over the top. Yeah. Like I, you know. And, but like, you're not you're, obnoxious. So I wasn't yeah, really worried about you that. You crushed it, and like there was no part of me where I was like, "You gotta push, babe." Like no, you no. were, you were just crushing it. It was, so. it was a really cool experience, and I actually really look forward to doing it again. Interesting. The pregnancy, like interesting. I, That's gonna bring us to a question. Yeah, later. yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Oof. I feel like this this is definitely a question for both of us, but I feel like it was asked like kind of for me maybe. Are you less sexually interested? It could be for both of us. A hundred percent, I think it's for both of us. Um, I wouldn't say less sexually interested. I'd say it is a little harder, but not really. Like I feel like we still have time to. I wouldn't. I'm not. I'm not. But like, I want to hear yours. <laughs> I'm not less sexually interested at all. No. In anything more. <laughs> but I feel like if you have a, the right type of guy, like what you just went through, should make them more attracted to you rather yeah. than like roast out. I don't know. No. Yeah. I was gonna say. I'm. There's no part of me that's less sexually attracted. Yeah. And if any, like literally, I think I'm more sexually attracted. Just <laughs> like even seeing you being an amazing mother and stuff. It's like oh. that's a turn on and. Um, and yeah, I think there's another question in here, so I'm gonna wait, I'm not gonna jump to it, um, about like, what was it different and blah, 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 like. Okay, get, get to the next we're, one. We're gonna, to just, we're gonna move on, but. Did you wax before labor? I did. At, 
I think that one's for me. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I did. But, um, so yeah, I waxed before, but like, but, uh, like is that week. necessary? But like, no, they literally were what like, they, see going they were on. telling, they were like, it does not matter. And I knew it didn't matter, but it was more so for me for like after. So I didn't like have to like shave and stuff, but I wanted to. But then actually, they told me that bushes were in. This might be like a little TMI, but like they were telling me, and I was like, oh, really? They were like, yeah, like all the 20 year olds, like they all have like full blown bushes. And I was like, oh, really? Hey, bushes must be. And I was like, interesting. <laughs> And I was oh, like, well, I need Christmas tree. Oh, oh, Christmas. Christmas. And I'm like, well, if anyone were to know, it would be them, like the ones seeing <laughs> True. The, all day long, like all, all ages, long. you know. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Are you gonna follow a trend? No. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Um. Oh, here, here. It was right. The next question. Does it feel the same after? No. 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 <laughs> what do you mean? Do I be like TMI? Honestly? Are you talking about like the pain or? You mean like having? Yeah. It, well, okay. So I had a fourth degree tear. So like it, it's a little painful, but like that's just initially. 100%. But like if that's because all your scar tissue is like healing. So like for me, like it doesn't feel bad. It just the first couple scared. times it hurt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It hurt. <laughs> I, and for me, because I know, like, all guys are like, oh, it's going to be so different. If blah, anything, blah, I feel like it was the opposite. Yeah, I feel, <laughs> no, like, I mean, I feel like we can't do I don't want to be, like, too TMI. Yeah, we might like, be being too TMI. It was bad. I don't know. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why? Why? Who cares? I feel like that's so TMI. It, for him, it was the same, right? Okay, the question is it always, like, oh, like, you know, you have a baby, like, you know. And yeah, like, ways. oh, like. You're, that's what people always say though. Like, oh, they had this many kids. Like, oh, sex must be terrible. Like, well, that's not true. Why? Like, your body literally goes back. Like, you die, like, then you come back. Like, it's not. Look, I was, I never had that mindset, but apparently people do. Yeah, but that's like not even a thing. So I don't even. That's what they call it, like, the husband stitch. Like, oh, one extra stitch. <laughs> that's funny. Anyway, uh, it's a myth. Yeah. All right, guys. The next question and. I, this one to me, I don't remember, but Katie said I did say it did. What does a room smell like? You had made a comment after and you were like, well, it wasn't like it didn't smell the best. Because like I'm pretty, we talked about this, but you weren't like in the room like, oh, it smells bad. But you were like, oh, it's like, but that's like a thing. Like childbirth isn't like a good, I didn't smell anything, but I feel like I was so distracted. Like sitting here anything. right now, it, it must remember. not have been that bad because I don't remember. I. I could see myself maybe I, if I walked out of the room, which I don't think I did, and then came back I thought in. You said it was like the placenta or something. I thought the you placenta made it to me, yeah, like that was the nasty. Placenta thing. was gross. Like, that like, thing, that thing is creepy nasty. looking. Like, yeah. like that was like I was like that was exactly that thing's creepy. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, that's me. That was the only like. It was cool to see. Gross. It was cool to see. Like I wasn't actually. But it's like a gross house. looking thing. Like I don't know. But I, I do, maybe it did have a smell, but like, and I have a strong sense of smell. So do I though, and I, and I mean, I didn't really. I don't really I was remember, sorry, it was not something where I was like, oh, this is so gross. Yeah, so true. it really wasn't that bad. And sitting here right now, I don't even remember saying that, but maybe I could have definitely You didn't say that. it like in the moment, maybe it was like after you were like, oh, like it didn't smell the best, but it didn't smell bad or something like that. Yeah, it, it definitely had, there was some kind of smell. But like, I think there's like a whole bunch <laughs> There's a lot going on there. Yeah. Uh, okay, do you feel like the baby takes up all of your time? Honestly, no. I don't, I don't feel, feel that way at all. I don't feel not that way at all. A, not even the slightest bit. I feel like she, also I really don't know because we don't have anything to compare it to, but she's really good about like taking her naps, like she'll like, even if like sometimes she'll just like sit, if we put her down like she stays there and she's, oh obviously she stays there, <laughs> but she's not like fussing, like I don't know, like I feel like there's times where we'll definitely have to like take a lot more time and yeah. like we do, a, we spend so much time with her, but there is times where we can like set her down and get things done too, so I don't feel like Oh my gosh, like I can't do anything. Like, I don't know. Yeah, also, I feel like we, we have still each other. definitely do a lot. But yeah, we do have each other. There's yeah. two of us, so we can both tackle Which we are uh, very fortunate because I feel like if it was just me, it would be it would be a little bit different. Just But there is times when I'm with her and I'm like, I don't feel, I don't know. I don't feel like she takes up too much. I've not, yeah. Yeah. Thankfully, I've never felt that way yet. Like, 
Mm-hmm. We bring her obviously to do everything. We've met, we haven't, her, we've yet to have a babysitter, which yeah. uh, obviously eventually we're gonna need to find one and do that. Um, but it has been nice because I feel but, like we haven't had a babysitter, but we have been out and about. We have, I don't like, feel like we've needed so a much. Like we're example. still in like a soccer league. We go play pickleball every single night. Like we still totally live our lives. And some people could be like, "Oh, that's selfish." You need. I'm like, no. I definitely think you still need to live your life and then like incorporate your baby into your life. And obviously, there's t- so many things we do um, and put the baby first. So it's well, like obviously, that. at this stage of like you know her life like she She's sleeps what, yeah. what is it 20 hours a day or something like, pretty much yeah. she pretty much sleeps all day but obviously like moving forward when, as she gets older her wake time is going to be a lot longer and yeah so i think it, it might things will be definitely different so i don't want to make it sound like like oh it's so easy no 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 um, i just think it also helps I would say this people yeah this is probably the easier stage yeah I'd it say makes me new- nervous thinking like some people say the like, newborn stage her calling is around, harder like, oh, and some say it's easier. I feel like the newborn stage is probably gonna be easier than the toddler stage just because, not that it's been easier, but it's been a lot easier than I thought it would be. But she's also made it pretty easy because she's been a good baby. So we'll see. We'll see. Check back in a couple months. Things could change, so I don't Things wanna could like, you know. definitely change. Um, is it awkward having so many people see you vulnerable while giving birth? Honestly, no, because I feel like some people like, like look at that and they're like, oh, it's so weird. Like you even like, like no one says this, but like, well, my uncle was like, it's so weird. Like I just watched your birth video. Like I never thought. And like, it is like something like where you're like letting people See, to me, I didn't think like no part of me thought it, that's weird because like, I I feel like we're just, obviously we're so close and it's like, we've put so much on YouTube and everything of our lives. So I feel so comfortable doing that. But like when I really sat back and like one of my boys snapchatted me that I haven't even seen him in probably like a year and a half. Like, I can't believe I'm and watching. he's watching like, the, he's like, I can't believe I'm watching Katie give birth right now. And I'm like, I honestly, think- when you think about it, it's like I tried to imagine watching a, a video of any of my friends' girls giving birth. And I'm like, that would probably be pretty, like I would definitely watch it. I'd be like, that'd be but pretty be like, interesting. Oh, that, I'd want to see weird, it. Like, cause normally you wouldn't cool. watch like, you know, so, but like, I would, like if Tiff was giving birth, like I feel like we would be I so interested. Like, this the is video so cool. if they posted a video. I just feel like it's one of those things where I think YouTube's so cool because it's like, okay, it's just me and Josh in the moment, right? Like, so we're like totally in the moment there, but then we get to share like special moments for people. And to me, that doesn't make it less special. That makes it even more special. Cause I'm like, I feel like people are more connected to like, our story, which I think is really obviously, cool like obviously we don't share everything. But yeah, there's things we don't share, but like I think that was just such a cool thing, and I. Loved, I just thought that was so weird thinking about. I loved watching people's birth stories. It made me feel yeah. so comfortable. Like I was not nervous. I I feel like I was. I felt so much more confident giving birth watching other YouTubers' videos. I feel like whenever we went to the OBGYN, like pre-birth. Like they'd always, every time they'd be like, all right, do you guys have any questions? Like, do you need, want anything answered? And we're just like, like no. honestly, no. I just feel like we've watched so many videos on YouTube, so yeah. like TikToks. Like, obviously, if there was anything we had, like, we're questioning, we would ask them. But yeah. for the most part. No, honestly, they made me feel so comfortable to see all different types of experiences and all different stories. So it's just like, you know. But you didn't think it was weird at all? Just uh, legs, like popped open well okay when we were editing the video i was trying to get more blurred and you were like no no it's fine i was like no we should blur even higher even though it's like you blurred, couldn't see blurry, anything you couldn't see anything anything but i still was like more so for like just the people who would be uncomfortable with that but then i was like if you're that uncomfortable like don't watch it like i don't well you know. literally like all you could see is her leg from here up yeah but no i'm glad we added a little blur there because yeah, yeah. that's my b that's my b <laughs> <laughs> to me, I've seen it all. So like to me, he's it's, like, it's not bad. I'm like, oh my god. I was like, why? Like, it's your leg. Who cares? I don't know. I think it's cool because even like our like family got to see it. Like you guys. That's not the it. question. Okay. Anyway, the next. question is, was it uncomfortable? Oh no. no. I once you give birth, like I don't. I feel like you're like so open. It's almost bad because I'm like a pretty open person. But like, I feel like. You know how many people I've seen down there? Not that I would try and I would never want the internet to see that. <laughs> no. That's too far. <laughs> no. But like the experience, like I thought it was the coolest thing ever and I would love for people to see it and feel comfortable when they give birth or I mean, I had a fourth degree tear. And like I didn't watch any other YouTube videos with that. And so like now if someone goes and they're like, Okay, she had a fourth degree tear and she was fine after and like this is her story and like if that could make I, someone else feel better, then that's I great. see where you're going. I think like that's a great point because the question could point, definitely right? be either way. I think the question is more so like, 
forget YouTube, like in the room, there's like six, like a lot of people in there oh. seeing you. Like, did no. that feel when weird? You're in like, pain, did you feel vulnerable? At before all? I was in pain, I, I was like, oh God, this is a little weird. But like, not really. Okay. But like, honestly, I feel like they've seen it all. So, so like, I'd feel a little weird. I'm not, I'm not I gonna would, lie. but once you're in pain, you do not care. But I also agree with that because. Oh, totally off topic, but when I broke both my ankles, <laughs> there was like, yeah, they're like seven certain. nurses in there and they just like ripped my pants down. We, we gotta make sure yeah, like everything's all good stuff. down there and like touching everything. And like when you're like, in I never like, thought twice about it. Yeah, you just don't care. You're like, whatever. Yeah. But. Interesting. Has the thought of your partner not making it after birth crossed your mind? Me? Oh, that would be you. That's a good question, probably. Did that cross your mind? But, but when I was about to pass out, maybe it did cross your mind. Uh, <laughs> you well, no, mind. did it cross your mind when we rushed to the hospital? Okay, I would say, first of all, before even that situation, like definitely leading up to like when it was getting closer to like, okay, like she can have the baby any day now, that crossed my mind a lot. I don't it know would, why, which is super like it would cross my it, mind. It would like if pop I was in God. my mind, and I try to like get out, get it out of my head because I'm like I don't want to like be manifesting this in my head, so I try to think of anything else. Yeah. But, like it definitely crossed my mind. It like I don't know. Sometimes like my mind wanders. Like sometimes it Everyone's went like mind really deep. Wanders. Like and I was like, holy shit. Everyone's mind wanders, and mine was the same, but it never was with me. Like I never in my head thought like I was gonna like. It was you was, or or yeah. her or even worst case both yeah but but i think i had that had crossed my mind so much leading up to it because you were like I'm no but then like the day of you know when she woke up she was bleeding and like we rushed to the hospital at three in the morning like that i would say is like a lot of the reason why i passed out because i'm like literally standing Nervous. there and i'm like oh my god like the Dirt. nurses aren't saying anything they all look concerned and worried it's like yeah. i don't know i was that's why I almost passed out. I was like, holy shit, like something bad is actually happening right now. That's the same way I felt, but not about me. I don't know why, like that never crossed my mind. Like, yeah. I don't, I, all my focus was just on the baby because like, I don't, I don't know why that never crossed my mind because that definitely It definitely me. crossed my mind. I was like, I don't know how to raise a baby by myself. There's no family here. I was like, I don't know why. Not that you're gonna lose your wife. <laughs> no, that babe, of course that. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course that. No, I know, but if I was, if I was, if it was the rules were reversed, I would have thought that 100% would have been so nervous for that. But no, that, that was the thing, you know, let me finish, but yeah, like, yeah. That, and then I'd be grieving and taking care of a newborn, and I don't know how to do that. And that would be... I don't know why, like, it was kind of, my mind went more, deep with The it. thing is, is sometimes, so like, things will cross people's mind, like, even things cross my mind, and every time someone's, like, pregnant, like, these, like, negative things will happen, and you're like, okay, stop thinking like that, why do, why am I letting my mind race? That whole drive to the hospital that morning, like, at three in the morning, I'm like, oh my god. I, I'm I did the same thing, though, I was like, like I, I, I was like, of course it's me, like, of course, like, I was like, I, I, I thought about this all the time, I was like, why did I do this, and then, like, I was just like, okay, so, it is hard, I think everyone's mind will go to places, and sometimes you just have to, like, cut it out, and you're like, nope, that's not, and, like, every time that my mind will ever go to, like, a dark place, or different things, I always just pray, and I feel way more pray about it, yeah. you know, and it's all in God's hands, exactly. so, that always took the worry away, mm -hmm. but, and that's honestly what helped me not have like anxiety during pregnancy because I know a lot of people who don't even have anxiety will get it during pregnancy because your mind will wander all these things. Well, what if this happens? What if this happens? Because like childbirth is pretty intense, but I just feel like for me personally, what helps so much is just praying about it. But yeah. Hmm. We got deep. That was deep, yeah. Was really deep. I feel like <laughs> I got a little breath after that. I, I love these videos. I don't know why. Because I love like just like diving into it. Okay, this let's see, a little less deep question. <laughs> Do your nipples change? They change the color while I don't I was think they change. pregnant, but I don't think they're changed now. But like maybe later. Way. Right now they look the same. I think it is weird. I will say like your boobs change so much from like when you're pregnant. So then when you have the baby and your milk comes in like that day, I was like, oh my god, it looked like I got like a massive boob job. But then they like go back down. You know, I don't remember what they look like before. No, I know. <laughs> No, okay, we're not gonna go into that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because the other day I was saying, I was like, my boobs aren't as big as they were when I was first breastfeeding, 
And then he's like, yeah, they're back to like your normal size before. I'm like, no, Josh, I'm pretty sure they were smaller. And he's like, they're pretty small now. I'm like, no. Whoa, I, like, I didn't say it. No, he I was like, not, not like I in a bad they, way. Like, no, I said they got smaller. And I'm like, yeah. Because they obviously got bigger because more milk. But you had thought my boobs now were the same size that they were That's pregnancy. What I said, yes. And I'm like, no, Josh, they're way smaller. <laughs> they were way smaller. And we were like, did I not have boobs? And I was like, I don't think I did. Yeah. But that's okay. That's all. Good. And I'm pretty sure after you breastfeed, like some people are like joking, they're like, you get negative boobs, like you get less boobs than what you started with, and I'm like, which is fine, because I honestly like I am all for the itty bitty titty committee, the medium size titty committee. Honestly, I wasn't a fan of the big big boobs with the breast milk. Like that was just like uncomfortable. So. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah. Not for me. This one is, uh, did Katie B have body odor postpartum? I actually didn't. Well, I, I didn't. It's for you. I did. No, I had heard about that. Yeah, my friend had told thought, me about that, and I thought that I for sure would. But no. And I, I honestly didn't I have, have the night sweats either. Too I'm bad. Let me smell you real quick. I mean, I feel like it's like done now, but <sighs> I didn't have the night sweats either. Um, I would get warm in the middle of the night, but I still, if it's like that was during pregnancy, even before. I feel like it's our air conditioning. It's not. Yeah, it's I the get same warm thing happens to you. Yeah. But 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 yeah, I don't. I didn't think you smelled at all. Not even a little bit. No. Is it? I wonder if it's like a different odor. No, no, it's like your hormones. It's like a postpartum thing. And I didn't notice that happen to me. And I feel like you weren't very like hormonal. No, but I definitely did have like- You had some moments. I had a you couple moments. We'll get there. We'll get to have another kid after the whole birth experience. No, I'm actually very, very excited to have another kid. Doesn't scare you a little bit? Like I'm excited, I'm 100% excited. Uh, I'll be a little nervous towards the end just because of like what could have happened, but. I feel like I'll be so at ease just going through the process once before because yeah. like I was nervous about so many like stupid things. Yeah. Like when they hand me the baby, am I gonna know like what to do? Yeah, no, like, you'll be a lot more confident with that. But. <laughs> yeah, I, I like I'm obviously, like Sky was the first diaper I've ever changed in my life. So it's like, I was having the lady like teach me the right way. But Josh, it will feel weird because- Swaddle the baby, like now I'm just gonna be like- You won't be used to that size. <laughs> like you'll be like, oh my God, she's- tiny. She or he will feel so tiny. Yeah, literally. Because even Sky May, she, she's like so long now. I know. And I was looking at pictures, she got so big. I'm like, holy crap. It's crazy. It's wild. She it? really is growing like really But good. I feel like I will be nervous just with the whole like, I don't know, seeing what happened last time. And like, obviously what happened last time, like turned out like perfect and everything was fine. Yeah. I feel but like just there. having that like little bit of scare, I'm like, I know there's so, the, the, the thought that knowing there's so many different things that could happen worries me. Well, I feel like, well, I went to, out to lunch with my labor and delivery nurse and um, just like hearing like how many births they go through and like how, not like rare, but like for something to happen to the mom, like, and things do happen to the babies, but it's like way less common than the good, you know? So like, True. I feel like just hearing those stories and just like, I don't know, praying about it and just making sure it's like, obviously there'll always be a little sense of like, like what if, you know, but yeah. can't live your life that way. All right, guys, the next question is, do you miss your body before Sky? No. And honestly, I will say, I feel like my body is almost the same, but there yeah, is... Yeah, do you feel like anything's different? Because I don't. I feel like there's, like, small differences, but I don't care. Like, and even, like, when... Even when I had first given birth and then a couple days after, like, when I was, like, two weeks postpartum, like, my body definitely wasn't the same. And mine isn't the same as what it was, but... That's because I was like working out. I had so much more time to work out. Um, I don't really care because I'm also like, I'm a mom. Like I just gave birth. Like I don't really have that sense of, I feel like some people definitely think I have this like in my head where it's like, I have to be so fit. I have to be so this. That's why I'm so obsessed with working out. I genuinely like need to work out for like my mental clarity. Mental. And I love the confidence that it like gives me through like just the, I don't know, everything about working out like makes me feel so confident and like, now I feel like just jump, it jump starts your day. I feel like I that's so, it's such a habit for us, like to to work out in the morning and just get get you ready for your day. Yeah, and I feel like my body hasn't changed too much, but like the small changes that only I think I would notice, I personally don't care. Like I, I think it's cool. Like I don't know. It's it tells a story. It tells like 
there, like I still have that one line, like that, like um, a do you? that dark line. It goes away after time, but like I'm like I like don't want it to go away a little bit because I'm like. Oh, I feel like as awesome. somebody who's with you like every day, it just like becomes the norm. Like seeing like mm-hmm. like that line, for example, it's like I don't. No. It's not something I noticed. Yeah. You didn't get any stress marks. No, I didn't. But I really do believe that. Isn't that that's kind of like a genetic thing? That I or... do believe that that is genetics. That's what a lot of people say. And like my mom didn't have any stretch marks. And um, some people like it's like they'll be tiny and they'll still get stretch marks. That's why I still believe it really is like genetics. And then some people yeah. have twins and not have stretch marks too. Like that's Jeez. pretty crazy. Um, I don't really think the oil did anything, but like it was fun for me to like put oil on my body and stuff. The body oil. And like it doesn't harm, so like why not? Like if there's a chance it works, then why not? True. Uh, Okay, are you still attracted to Katie? I feel like I already covered that, but absolutely, if anything, I'm more attractive. Or attractive. I'm more attractive. More attractive. <laughs> I'm more attracted to Katie just seeing like her become a mother and how awesome of a mother she is and it's just super cool to see the person you love like also like nourishing and taking care of the other person you now love. Yeah, it is it is such a cool thing, I think, even to see like him be a dad and like the rules and like I don't know, it's just it's something very special. And now she's a moof, baby. That makes you a dolph. Hey, true, true. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, like, why. I don't know why I would become less attracted. Like, why? It does. It almost sounds like so. Like, she's been like, like fucked up. Like, right. Like, doesn't that sound like the most like? like uh, you had a baby. Like, oh, you're nasty. It's like, <laughs> like you well, get a girl be? pregnant, and then she like carries your child, like half of you. And then gives birth and goes through all these like hormonal changes and for like a guy to even like have that like mindset like that is so toxic like that just needs to be like like if you're a guy listening don't ever be that guy yeah like never be that guy just because don't be that guy don't be that guy it just it, to me it sounds like the most messed up thing that like i don't know yeah and that's your girl so and like even if on. your girl gained weight or changed or like anything like that is a story, so it's not a negative thing. Like, it's literally the story of, like, bringing your child into this earth, so, I don't know. True. Uh, does your perspective of a mother and children change after birth? We'll start with you. I don't really understand that question. Like, for me, they're asking, like, like, for me, I say absolutely, and not even just of a mother, but also of a father. Because, like, I don't know, as a kid, you, like, look at your parents, and you're like, oh, they're just my parents, like, blah, blah, blah. And then you get older, and you respect your parents a lot more. And then, like, now I think, like, now we have a kid, and I'm like, holy crap, like, like this is what my parents did with me. Like, now I understand, like, they're, like, they're the truest form of love, like, how they could love, like, me and my brothers yeah. and like same for your I feel like with I you and it's like kind of saw I that. always had that respect and everything because I saw other babies and like how much I feel like I always thought that I was like well wow my parents like did so much for me they loved me and I always felt loved by my parents true so like I feel like maybe a little bit more appreciation when you have a baby but I already felt like I was very appreciative of my parents and like what they did um so but I would say Something that changed with me and being a mother is like I feel like before and I'm a, I've always been kind of like a pretty confident person like who I am But like sometimes like I would be like a little like Not nervous to hang out with new people, but like sometimes I'd be like And then my head like second guessing be like, oh like I hope this w- went good or this went this now I'm like, I don't really care. I'm like, I don't care if someone doesn't like me I don't care like anything. I'm like, I, I don't know why it's like this like new sense of like I'm a mother, all I care about is protecting my kids and being with my family and like obviously not being mean to people but like if someone doesn't like my personality or me then like it doesn't matter because like I have like so much more important things to worry about. I think personally for myself I found always, I've always respected women Mm -hmm. um, but I found a even higher respect just seeing like what your body did what your body went through like I thought it was the coolest thing ever just seeing like throughout the nine months like mm-hmm. you literally growing a child in your body and then like watching you give birth like I thought I literally think like that's the coolest thing ever and then like and so the baby the post yeah and then just like the fact that like 
you can feed the baby, like everything you went through, like definitely just a newfound respect. Again, I always have respect, but even to like the just highest level. Cool to see firsthand. And even for yeah. me, it's cool to see. I'm like, wow, women are so cool. Like I knew it, but like to experience it is another thing too. hundred percent. Did the first poop hurt? No, I was so scared. No? Okay, so that was like, for me, since I tore all the way, like that was like, the doctors were nervous too, for me too. Like, they were What like, if you had a big old poop in Well, the they put me on that. Okay, this is my, I don't know why. Sometimes I'm like, it's like, I like sharing my experiences because I don't find it like. Think about the other women that are about to I have know. a child I was there on, that want to know, it's like, okay, like if what this happens. happens. Uh, so I had a fourth degree tear, tore all the way, but they put me on laxatives. So it wasn't like, it wasn't like a painful poop. Like it was fine. It was good, yeah. you know? So like it, it wasn't painful. Going to the bathroom after was really weird because I couldn't pee at first because they get you up to go to the bathroom like an hour after. And that's when I passed out. And when I passed out, I don't know what it was. I felt I'm like scared. I died. Like I literally felt like I went to heaven looked, or like I had a dream. It looked like know. you went somewhere. And I, I don't came know where back, you went, but. I just remember thinking like, I think I just died. <laughs> like obviously I didn't. That was so like, weird. It was a weird experience, but it was so cool. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I don't I don't ever think it's weird talking about like... No, I mean, some people are very like private to themselves and like, I think there's certain things you keep to yourself, but then I think there's certain things like when people tell you, it's like, it just helps other people and I don't know. <laughs> Do you argue about who got more or less sleep? Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, I. I don't think we ever, yeah, I don't know. No, because I don't think it's an argument because in the also, beginning like, I was getting up. So I'm resting like exclusively and we'll give her a bottle here and there. Just with my rest of, We've it. honestly only given her probably like four or five bottles. Yeah. No, so like no. I'm pretty much just resting here, but now it's gotten pretty nice to where she only wakes up one time at like five in the morning. So I feed her once. It's getting longer because it was three, then it was four and now it's five. Yeah. And like, so honestly. One more hour and boom. I'd say the first month was harder because I was getting up a lot. Like the first like three weeks, even four yeah, weeks, definitely. I definitely was getting up a lot and like I wasn't sleeping as much. But Josh was also very helpful and supportive and it wasn't like he wasn't helping, it was just like I was feeding her. Um, so it wasn't really a debate. But also at the same time, like we are blessed and we make our own schedules yeah, and so pretty much work from home. Yeah, so it's not like I couldn't so. sleep and take a nap if I needed yeah. to or like, and that is leads me to one thing. I don't know if it's a question, but I'm just gonna go into it um, of like having a little like postpartum like meltdown. So I know like postpartum can be very hard and like there's like a lot of different Man, things. Get with your, your dogs hormones. out the camera. What you doing? <laughs> no free dogs out here. Get your dogs out. <laughs> Shut up. And so the thing for me is, I was very lucky to not have postpartum depression and not. I felt like my hormones were pretty balanced, but I definitely did have like a couple of times where I was like, oh my gosh, like I feel so crazy right now. And I would tell Josh, I was like, I feel like I'm going to cry. Don't touch me. Don't look at me. Like, and he was like, I think we were like working out. It was like literally like two weeks ago. And he's yeah. like, are you good? And I was like, I know. I was like, my hormones are all out of whack. And then there was one night where I was breastfeeding her and I knew I was going to have to wake up like three hours later. And I was so tired. I'm like sitting here breastfeeding. And I was just like crying and Josh like, are you good? And I'm like, no, because I have to wake up in three hours. I was just like very sleep deprived, but hey, it's, it's part of the postpartum. Yeah, like if you feel like you need to cry, you need to have your moment, cry, have your moment and don't feel guilty about it because I mean, you just went through a lot. Yeah, but for the most part, if someone asks about postpartum depression, like I would say. Yeah, no, I've been. From the stories I've heard about postpartum depression, I would say you didn't. No, no, that was just being overtired and getting up and like new mom adjusting and like, so I have been very, very, very blessed. And I've also heard, and I don't know if this is true, but um, working out can help balance like your hormones and stuff too. So I wonder yeah. if that played an effect, but also like, I know every pregnancy is different, everything's different. So I'm just super, super grateful that it hasn't been too bad on me because I think that that would be really tough going through that and being like a new mom. Also, I think like, obviously postpartum is like hormones and stuff but like it's such a high like that process like giving birth like now you have your baby like that those first like two weeks is such a high that you're riding and then i think like you kind of come back down and then like the sleep like 
the sleep deprivedness. Well, that's more so like a guy's. That's a guy's thing. No, but I'm saying like that on top of like yeah. if you're having hormonal like changes and stuff like I can only imagine because because Being yeah for me like that's changes. what I would say it was it was like oh I was riding like this biggest high like I could have not slept for the first two weeks of well that's how I felt life the and I would have been totally fine like even like the first three days in the hospital I didn't sleep at all I was like not even like sleep wasn't even a concern to me yeah and I was like, like I'm, I'm fine like, like yeah got like, my baby right here we're good like but then and the same for two weeks but then like you kind of come back down and you're like okay like yeah. Is. But I can only imagine if you had like. Well, that's like, yeah, that's like how changes. you feel. But then you have like, as a woman, like you actually have like hormonal changes, which can make it a lot tougher. But um, yeah, that was kind of like my postpartum. And I don't want people to think like, oh, like it's just like, oh, perfect, like this and this. But I also want to be honest, like with my experience. Like I didn't have a bad experience. So I don't want to sit here. To, yeah. <laughs> to make like, other people happy. <laughs> no, I feel like sometimes though, if you like say like it was positive, people like hate you for it. But like I did have a really good. Everybody's post, different. You know, and that doesn't mean I don't know. It just it is what it is. Yeah. Um, another question was, do you feel confident in your body still? Yes, I feel more confident now actually that because I'm like. I had a baby. Like I was I don't know, it's like this like new sense of I actually felt and so you still look this good. Look Thanks, at you. Babe. I feel like it's not even like necessarily hot like it's just like you it's like a motherly glow you feel like you get. Honestly I felt so confident pregnant too. Like I loved it. Like I was like, I'm pregnant and I'm at the gym. And like not like if you are at the gym, but it's like before I was just at the gym. Now I was pregnant at the gym. So like it yeah. gave me this I'm like Oh, it gave me like a little extra like, boost. It's like, wow, I'm doing this and I'm pregnant. Yeah, it just like fueled me. And I got 30 pound weight less. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and yeah. a run above. Uh, I loved it. Katie, you were very cute pregnant. Thanks. I, w I was. I was cute pregnant. But could be cute pregnant again. Shut up. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. That's actually the next question. Is it hard not to, to not have another baby right away? No, no, I like, I still feel like I just got over being pregnant. Yeah. So I'm like, I totally want to enjoy this time not being pregnant before being pregnant again and like soak up. I don't want to like rush it, but I definitely would want like a close age gap, but I don't want to rush things. So like to me, it is nice not being pregnant for a little bit. Yeah. For me, I kind of go, go back and forth in my head about it. Cause again, like I want to soak it up and everything, but I'm like, but also I'm like, if you were got pregnant now, like that's nine months, like. But nine months is so fast. Like nine, nine months really is fast. Really fast. Yeah, I'd say around when she's like around a year. I think so. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe sooner. I don't know. We'll see. No, I I could be longer. I don't even know. I have no idea. We'll see. We don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, we answered all your guys' questions. Um, Hopefully, we didn't go too too high. <laughs> But if I we don't did, really think it was too TMI, but if it was, just click off the video and go watch a different video. <laughs> All right, we love you guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Peace. What Wait. was that? What was that? Oh, that was my, I, that was my channel. This ain't no KDB channel. What you doing? <laughs> all right, all right, all right.